In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, this morning, well, science fiction is becoming scientific reality. We are now entering a world where living robots are creating more living robots. Take a look. These are xenobots. Scientists say they are the world's first living robots. They are less than a millimeter wide and formed from the stem cells of the African clawed frog. The xenobots were unveiled last year when the scientists noticed they moved and worked together in groups. These mini robots can also self-heal, and it seems now they can reproduce using a process called kinematic self-replication. This means they can take on a Pac-Man-like structure and scoop up individual stem cells in its mouth. Those stem cells then are bundled together to create new xenobots. And they gobble us all up. No, I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> Sci scientists they say they are, this is still considered very early technology, but, if event, but, if it, but it could eventually be used for collecting microplastics in, the, in our oceans, inspecting root systems, and regenerative medicine. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you. That's a little fun there. It was, Hopefully not an omen it, for the future. I mean, part of me was like, really? No, I think that could happen. Yeah, so it was like, <laughs> we were all thinking it. You just said it. <laughs> that is so fascinating, It is. Though. I know, absolutely amazing. But use, being used as a force for good, it looks like, in the near future, as opposed to the alternative. Yeah, yes. absolutely. We wouldn't even go there. No, no exactly. Terminator references right now. Exactly. <laughs>